welcome back. <laughs> Uh, another episode of Make or Bake, and this time we are... Baking, Ta-da! hence the apron. And what are we baking? Uh, peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies mm-hmm. that don't have any flour. So let's wash our hands. So this week is Christian Aid Week, and it's a week of um, raising awareness of the amazing projects that Christian Aid has to help eradicate poverty worldwide and also about raising money for some of those projects. Now, eradicate poverty worldwide, they are really big words, but what that basically means is getting rid of inequality and putting a stop to situations where people don't have the crucial things that they need for life, clean water and food and uh, hospital care and all those kind of things. And Christian Aid uh, works with churches and partners all around the world to try and eradicate poverty. So this week, people are learning about it and people are donating to Christian Aid. So we're gonna make some cookies. Yep. What do we need first? Just five ingredients in this one. And the first thing that's gonna go in is an egg. Please, so we need to crack the egg in and then lightly beat it so that the yolk and the white are combined. And then strangely, we're actually gonna get rid of half of this egg. Okay. Because we don't need the whole thing. If you want to use the whole egg, you could do double the rest of the ingredients and then you would end up with a lot of cookies. So, about half of it please. I think that's about half in there. That looks good. I don't think we'll waste that egg, I think we might have some scrambled egg later. Um, Okay, so the next things that go in are, we need half a teaspoon of um, bicarbonate of soda. Ours is called baking soda, same thing. It does. Uh, half a teaspoon, Half you say. a teaspoon. And while Kat does that, um, I'm just going to carry on chopping. We don't have any chocolate chips in our house, but we did have a nice block of chocolate, and I'll ask Kat to show you the, uh, the packet in a minute. And I'm just chopping up about 40 grams of it. So our bar came in a 100 gram thing, so... I can't actually get the bicarbonate of soda out of here. <laughs> just going to break the box <gasps> slightly. Breaking the box. So yes, I'm just using a very sharp knife very, very carefully. So if you are creating your own chocolate chips, please ask for some help to do that. Oh, when you said breaking the box, you meant demolishing, huh? There we go. So half a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda into there. And then we're also going to add some sugar. And we need a quarter of a small glass of sugar. So... We've got a little glass like this. If you've got something about that size and we want about a quarter in there. So I'll tip that in there. Might be better to use a spoon. Can be a bit hazardous just tipping the whole bag. We're using caster sugar. You can use any type of sugar. Um, Literally any. (laughs) Brown sugar if you've got it, any colour, whatever you've got. Stick it in the bowl. And now I'm going to add the chocolate chips, which are actually just broken chunks of chocolate, but just don't tell anybody. Um, Our chocolate is dark chocolate, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Uh, It's the Sainsbury's own variety, this one, because they have their own fair trade range. So does Aldi and Lidl. Fantastic. So um, the key thing next is the peanut butter, and we need a reasonable amount of this. We need half of that little cup again, and we're gonna just spoon that into there. So you just mentioned that that um, chocolate is fair trade. It is. What does that mean? It means that the people who grew the cocoa, the people who turned it into chocolate, the people who did the packaging, the people who did the transport, everybody involved was paid fairly. So not just um, to get the highest profit, but to get the most, um, uh, they got the most that they could get for their work. Maybe one more big scoop. There's a, there's a gap on the bottom there, look. <laughs> there we go. I do like peanut butter. This is this is a very happy me. So, there we go. It looks a bit over because you can see the gaps around the edge, but about half. And then, Kat, I'm just going to dollop it straight in there. Amazing. And I think that's all five ingredients, isn't it? Yep, there's five things in there. Right. So, you're going to stir that together. And um, the sugar we used is also fair trade. There's the fair trade um, mark there on the sugar. And the reason that we're doing this particular recipe this week 
is because Christian Aid work with various fair trade um, organisations around the world as part of their desire to eradicate poverty. So they work particularly with Divine Chocolate. Oh, the oven! <laughs> um, yeah, so get your oven on probably a bit earlier than we did. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was just saying that Christian Aid have partnered with Divine Chocolate for years. They also work with Tradecraft and other organisations because they know that if people are being treated fairly and getting a fair wage, so fair money for the work that they do, that will help stop poverty worldwide. So. When you're out shopping, if you see that mark, that might be something that you want to choose to do. Sometimes it is a bit more expensive, but there are lots and lots of goods. And we're going to put a picture up of some of the things that you can get that are fair trade. So keep an eye out for that when you are doing your shopping. I did have some divine chocolate, which is who Christian Aid work with. And here's the wrapper, because I may have eaten it. But this, oh, this lovely logo is a really good one to remember because their chocolate is delicious. Okay. Would you mind moving that bowl for a second? So the next thing you need is a baking tray and we're going to put some greaseproof paper on it because we don't want it to stick. Mm -hmm. So it's so noisy, isn't it? Uh, it's quite a noisy bit like yeah. Okay. Very well, thank you. Here we go. Greaseproof paper on. Okay, cat, using a teaspoon and your nice clean fingers, oh, we're going to have a... We're going to put about, oh, hang on, about that size dollop on. So about a teaspoon dollop at a time. So I think we're actually using your nice clean fingers. No, I'm going to hold the bowl because <laughs> such a temptation to lick my fingers. I'm not very good at this bit. And we need to make sure that they are, Ooh, wow. You said you weren't very good and then <laughs> I just took all over. We, um, we need to make sure that they're nicely spread out because when they cook, they stop being a ball and they spread down into a cookie shape which is lovely. Cookies. Some of yours are smaller than others, did you know? Look, I think that one must be yours. Mm. I am so impressed with all the fundraising that's been going on already this week for Christian Aid um, from St yeah. Matthews and folks associated with it. I'm particularly grateful to the Scouts. They've raised £55 over the year from their coffee mornings. Obviously not ones that have happened during lockdown, but before lockdown they have a regular monthly um, fundraiser in that uh, coffee morning having lovely cakes and things. Oh, delicious. I love a good coffee morning. It's an excuse to have the unhealthy stuff that you want the rest of the time. <laughs> Which is, a, this is a good example in fact. Um, you can obviously choose to put less sugar in but we've already lowered it a little bit so hopefully they're a little healthier than when we made our first batch to try them so if you do want to find out a bit more about christian aid after you've watched this video we'll put some links oh, um, no, so that you can have a look and do go and just find out a bit more about their amazing work and if you want to donate we'll put a link to a donation page as well and um somebody an adult in your house can make a donation online um, if that's something you feel able to do. I'm now sticky. Me too. The last bit to do before uh, they go in the oven is just to get a fork or the back of your spoon and just on? squash it a tiny bit. Well, you can see, I think you can see that I'm just oh, squashing them a tiny bit so that Squishing. they're, oh goodness, mm -hmm. sticky, sticky, uh, so that they are less upright and a bit more, less of a ball and a bit more of a cookie shape. So... Okay, I can, oh, that missed one, look. <laughs> that, one's still, that one's a very small cookie, right. Okay, we're going to wash our hands very quickly again. Again, all this washing. It's probably a good thing, isn't it, this baking? It makes us be cleaner. Oh, our sink is okay. not big enough. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm going to put these in the oven, in the middle of the oven, and we're going to set the uh, timer for approximately nine minutes. So it, they could take between eight and ten minutes, and you want them to be golden brown on top, but you'll see, we'll get them out and show you, they're still wobbly when they come out, okay? <laughs> they harden as they cool, so straight into the oven they go. And whilst they go in there, um, we'll have a little clear up, and um, maybe a quick drink like usual, and then we'll be back to show you what they should look like when they're done. So we'll see you in a few minutes time. See if you can uh, work out any other items that we've missed off our fair trade list and see if you have any of these in your house maybe.
Hi there, welcome back and uh, our cookies are almost done in the oven so we're just waiting for the timer to go off and then we're going to get them out nice and safely. They smell wonderful, I hope your kitchen smells like ours. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to eating these with a brew. So, okay. There okay. we go, okay. there it is. <laughs> so Esther's going to really carefully uh, lift these out with the oven gloves. Uh -oh. And let's see how they, oh, they look Ooh, good. Oh, ours have slightly cooked more. Maybe we should have done eight minutes instead of nine. Do you want to show them to the camera? I'm bringing them over. So they're okay, nicely so browned. Ta-da! So you could have them less brown than this. <laughs> but be nice and crunchy. Um, I don't know if you can get a, a fork or a knife and just lift up one to show these guys how uh, soggy they are. Yep. Because they look really firm, but actually what's going to happen is that they're going to firm up as they cool. So can you see how soft that is? It's still it's really very flexible. bendy. So we're going to leave those there on the tray to cool. Don't take them off and put them on a cooling rack. And uh, probably leave them for about 30 minutes. Yeah, 20 so minutes, half cool. an hour, something like that. So we'll come back um, when we've left them and they're nice and cool and then we'll taste them. <laughs> see you in a minute. Hey again, so our cookies are now nice and cool and we're going to transfer them from the baking tray onto a bit of a cooling rack and then we're going to try a couple. So I hope you've enjoyed making these cookies and I hope you really, really enjoy eating them. Don't forget that this week is Christian Aid Week and I hope that you are inspired by Christians who've been motivated by their faith to try and tackle some of their big problems in the world and to try and make life more fair and more equal. Um, for everybody. So maybe you want to think about how you can perhaps do a little thing in your life to uh, be fair and to try and make life a little bit better for people in need and some of that might include thinking about what kind of things you and your family buy and who's made those things and where it's come from like we talked about with some of those fair trade products. Ooh, we've even got a brew to go with our oh, cookies. Yeah. We should have a glass of milk tea. really. Yeah, it's very, that's very Christmas, isn't it? Milk and cookies. Do you want to do the honours? I will roll my uh, dice. What did we call it? Grace cube. <laughs> Hang on. And today, I don't think we've done this one yet, have we? Do you want to say it? Okay. So let's pray and say thank you to God for our food. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. Amen. Ready. I am truly grateful. Okay, here we go. And they should still be a little bit soft in the middle. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Soft and sticky and not at all healthy and therefore delicious. Enjoy Christian Aid Week.